kind of a comeback. Niners had been 18-0 and 0 under Shanahan when leading by 10 or more points at the half. Um, you know, we're, we're going to bleed. You know, I mean, there's times where we're going to bleed. We talked to them at the uh, beginning of the game. you got to be willing to, to take some shots and, and be willing to bleed and be willing to taste it and, and be able to come back swinging. And that's why, uh, you know, it's an honor to coach this football team. You guys care do whatever you can do. It's, it's not always perfect. Took care of the football. Complimentary football defense played great in the second half. Everybody played great in the second half. We just did just enough. You know, the, the, uh, the interception by Rabbit was, was critical. You know, we were, we were running out of steam there. We were flatlining, and uh, he made a huge play for us. Halftime, you know, for them to come out and be able to have the type of drive they did. That's on them. I mean, those, you know, uh, special words, you know, just other than saying, you know, we're close. You know, we're close and, you know, defense got to get some turnovers. And uh, we did, you know, we dropped an interception. We're trying to hammer the football and it bounced back in their hands or whatever it may be. And, you know, quarterback, they said he was in the grasp. And, but, you know, just keep doing the things we were doing and, and, and had a, uh, you know, had a breakthrough, and that was, uh, was complimentary. It was huge. A lot of guys stepped up. AJ mm-hmm. Brown, one of them. What did you see from AJ? And, and- I mean, AJ's fantastic. We expect those things from AJ. You know, but the guys, uh, Aaron Brewer, Dylan Radins, you know, this is, um, you know, that's special. You know, to be able to see guys that, you know, walking up the, the ramp after the game and, and Dylan uh, just being excited that he did some things to help this team win. And, uh, and they battled, and, and Deontay and our runners, you know, all those guys. But, uh, you know, we, we, had a, we had six conversions, of a third and ten or more. You know, unfortunately, that's, that's a lot of our own doing to get in that position. But, uh, you know, we can eliminate some of the mistakes, you know, early on in offense. We can, we can still do some things. I thought, thought the staff did a great job as well. One of those was a, a free play. How, how crucial that Ryan recognized what he had there and that AJ made the play. Well, I think it, was, it starts with Todd, you know, getting him on the ball. You know, and then Ryan executing it, and then obviously everybody else executing, and that's something that uh, you know, we maybe not haven't taken advantage of here. Um, you know, ben snapped it; nobody moved. Uh, you know, AJ went up, and made a play. Mike, what was the process like to decide to put Dylan out there when you found out Kendall was out? Was that the first thing you thought, or did you think about yeah, Dylan? Dylan, Dylan was the uh, Dylan was going to you know he was going to be the the swing tackle for this game. Uh, that's how he prepared all all the week, the, the entire week, um, you know. And then when we got the news and you know told him it was a quick conversation, he had a big smile on his face and he's excited and um, it was cool. What changed first half to second half offensively? Not having first and twenty, second and twelve, you know, some of those things. Penalties, you know, probably were a little better. How big was it for Ryan Howard to have a clean game? We protected them. There were times where, you know, the pocket came in on them, but uh, you know, I felt like we did a good job of protecting them. I thought the offensive, the, the scheme was good and it was well executed. It was something that I think kept them off balance a little bit, was able to allow us some extra time. And, uh, you know, Ryan found some guys in the middle of the field on those third and longs and then, you know, catch and run with, with Ferk and then was able to find AJ, just trying to go through my head all those situations. I know you're expecting to make it, but what's the feeling for a head coach when the when Bullock's kid, kid goes through. You know what I mean? It's just like, you know, sit there and figure out are we going to overtime or, you know, we're going, going to the win. Talk about situations in football. How big does the defense step up in those moments where the game is really flying? Yeah, it was just they played better. You know, we made some adjustments. Um, it's a good scheme. They got, you know, good scheme, but they got really good players and, you know, their skill players are really good and, and a lot of moving parts and um, just really, really good second half performance. I know that, you know, it would have been dominating had, had we not given up, you know, the long one. Um, unfortunate, but hey, hold the, that team to 17 points, I, I think is, is doing good work. We said to, yeah. we had to get some turnovers. We weren't able to run it 40 times, and, but we held them to 17 points or less. Long conversions. I guess that's probably on everybody. Uh, the yeah, to a little bit here. Where I thought the scheme was good. I thought the players executed it well. You know, being able to, to to add extra guys into the protection and then, you know, receivers allowing them to get down there and get the spots where they were in zones. And you know, I thought Ryan really 
looked sharp on that first one. He ripped it in there to Nick. So. I mean, that was early. You know, I thought that was a good adjustment, switching up and and going to some man uh, there on early downs, and, and it and it paid off. You mentioned there, Mullen one. Christian slipped on that. He slipped a couple other times. Is, is it a field thing? Is it a guy thing? He wasn't the only guy. Trying to play with shoes that work, and you know what happens is, is it it's warm during the day, uh, it gets cold at night, and the field gets slick. So, I mean, I never blame a field. Like we know what the field is going to be like. Uh, last week against the Steelers, you had, or, <coughs> excuse me, there were some, some turnovers. Oh, yeah, I don't like the question down. What do you want to talk about? Not, but how important to take advantage of the turnover, score a touchdown, and also when you. So, yeah, the complimentary football, right? We got a turnover, scored a touchdown, got a fourth down stop, and, and we took care of the ball. You know, and that's, that's what it comes down to. We can, we can say that everything's broke and this guy sucks and, you know, fire the coach because that's the easy answer, right? The hard answer is, is getting in there and, and coaching and teaching and getting guys to understand what's going on, uh, making sure they know what to do so they can go out there and play play aggressive and physical and, and, and take care of the guy with the football. And uh, you know, weren't able to run the football as well as we had been in the past, but a lot of that just is, you know, product of not getting into drives and not being able to wear on them a little bit. We were just too quick of a drive earlier in the game, and then you know, the third down conversions were huge, and then being being really good in the red zone, we ran it in. You said how you you know expect these things from AJ, but for him to respond like that in his first game back, what does that maybe say about how he prepared himself? Well, he worked hard. I mean, worked hard with Todd and Frank. You know, again, everybody else that wants to fire the conditioning coach and a trainer because guys get hurt, they're also responsible for getting guys ready and to come back. But it's on AJ. I mean, he's. We, we understand how um, important he is to our football team. You know, love him as a person, and uh, you know, glad to have him back. How different is a team on third down with AJ in the lineup? And I ask that because he had eight receptions on third down. That's the most in the last thirty seasons. Um, quarterbacks throw to guys that they trust and the guys that are open, and uh, played played. Uh, you know, when it was zone, he sat down in zone, and when it was man, he was able to, to create some separation. What is it about this team where they all seem to play well and are so unfazed? Like that? Try not to panic. Try to make sure that everybody's prepared and ready to go when they come in there at the beginning of the week. It's the same thing. You know what I mean? You come in there, you show up, and Monday, everybody, you know, a short week especially. Guys, you, have, you come to this meeting, you better be prepared as you work your way through the next couple of days here to play in the game because anything could happen. Um, you know, guys may not be able to recover from whatever they had after this game on Sunday. Or, you know, in, in our case, having a couple guys that, that ended up being put on the, you know, the COVID IR. And I try not to panic and so that the, the coaches don't panic and then the players don't panic. Mike, what have you been seeing from Dylan? Have you been seeing progress lately? Yeah, I mean, you're just excited for guys that, that go out to practice early, that, that work with, with, with Sully, you know, before practice and after practice. You know, see a great attitude, a lot of consistency. You know, each and every day I feel like he's the same person. He's kind of there. He shows up, uh, engaged in the meetings, and, and continue to work. You know how proud you are to coach this football team, to, to see a team – adjust the way they did, get their composure and win. Is this is about as satisfying as a win gets as a head coach? They're, they're all amazing, but I think under the circumstances of a short week, being down, uh, being down some bodies, um, you know, it, it, against a really good football team. You know, I mean, we'll, we'll figure out where, where, where everybody has us after this week. You know, I mean, we were we had a funeral for the Titans, you know, was yesterday or today. Um, but but we're not dead yet. You know we'll come back and we'll play. Um, you know, I guess the Dolphins next, right? That's who we got in ten days. This, this weekend's going to feel really good. Uh, I'm happy that our players can rest and recover after getting a victory. Merry Christmas, guys.